tornado is the most violent storm on Earth. This film shows the majestic power of a tornado's rotating funnel, formed within a giant storm cloud called a supercell. Warm, wet air collides with cool, dry air and spins faster and faster. It finally twists down to the ground. A killer is born. Tornado strength is measured on the Fujita or F scale. Wind speeds are estimated from the damage caused. The weakest tornadoes are rated F0 with wind speeds of up to 72 miles an hour. F2 tornadoes tear roofs from houses and destroy mobile homes. This is an F4. Houses are destroyed and cars tossed into the sky by winds of up to 260 miles an hour. An F5 brings total devastation. At over 300 miles an hour, no faster winds have ever been recorded. The F scale indicates the wind speed inside the tornado, but the funnel itself can travel at up to 70 miles an hour. Despite modern radar technology, not even the experts can predict exactly when and where a tornado will touch down. The tornado's next strike was the Oklahoma City suburb of Moore. In its path was the home of Paul Kevitt. Ear started popping in the house, and as soon as that happened, we got in the bathtub, and I laid on top of my, put a comfort over, and laid on top of my wife. And then uh, I remember the windows breaking, and I'm yelling at her, "Here we go!" I looked up in the sky, and it just the amount of trash and, and debris is just being thrown through the air. And I, we're talking maybe five, six hundred feet in the air. Just I couldn't believe it. Okay, I can show you the bathtub. Let me walk around here. There's some nails and stuff. So. As Paul picked over the wreckage of his home, the full extent of the tornado's devastation was already being assessed by teams of scientists. They estimate tornado strength by examining the damage it has caused. Then a rating is assigned on the Fujita scale, ranging from F0, the weakest, to F5, the most destructive. Clues to the wind speed can come from establishing what happened to vehicles. In this garage where I'm standing, there was a red Ford Escort. And after looking for it for a while, we found it. And it's in a field more than a quarter mile away, maybe almost a half mile away. And that's amazing. That's F5 damage. That means it was picked up out of a house, essentially out of a closed garage, and thrown at least a quarter mile in the air uh, as a missile. We, call, we consider that F5 damage. Winds like that can also devastate homes and injure people as Paul Kevitt knows only too well. I got nine staples up here, and I had a stick in my elbow that we had pulled out. Uh, my neighbor, I took my neighbor, he got thrown from his house. I found him crawling in this field out here, and we started taking care of him, so. My neighbor, I remember him talking to me. I don't remember what he said, but I just remember the sound of his voice. We grabbed the dog and we got in the closet. Uh, we have a, just a little tiny dog about that big. And then uh, I started hearing just everything snapping, all the framing in the house. It felt like something just real slow and big snapped at first. And then after that, it seemed like everything went real fast. I think I heard the windows exploding and my ears were popping. And as I tried to hold the dog a little bit tighter, the wall that I was sitting back on began to lift up. I was afraid I was going to hurt the dog, so I, I was trying to reposition it, but it, it just slipped out of my hands. And then I was picked up again, and I was thrown face first into some mud, and I just started screaming for help. 
Jeff Poole's home was also demolished. But the closet where he hid has been identified by the scientists. He was sitting in his closet, right? It's the closet right here. And they found him over there where those shoes are, about maybe 30, 40 yards to our northwest. And he was blown there. And he's still in the hospital uh, from lacerations of his legs. And they removed his spleen, I guess, also. So um, bad stuff. You can see there's no wall standing. And you really can't find the wall. They're gone. A lot of the debris from the other houses that have fallen out of this house. So it's almost for sure a classified F5. The team also set out to find Jeff Poole's car. It wasn't this twisted ball of two or three vehicles. Nor this one, a quarter of a mile away. But finally they found it. Jeff Poole's car smashed under a bridge half a mile from where it had started out. There it is. Oh, wow. That's underneath the, That's the underneath 134th bridge. Street Bridge? Yes. So that confirms it. At 2208, 127th place, in Moore, the damage was F5. 